All right, exam one, problem five. We're out to use Kramer's rule to determine x and y for the following sets of equations. So we have these two equations and we have these two equations. So let's start with the top set. What's the determinant? The determinant is um, oh, got to be in math mode. Uh, 10 and 15, 10, 10. All right, which is 10 times 10 minus 10 times 15, which is minus 50, I believe. equals 10 times 10 minus 10 times 15 minus 50. Okay, that's the determinant. And we know um, from Kramer's rule that in these notations x, x is going to be d sub x over d, right? And, and y is going to be d sub y over d so next question is what's d sub x? d sub x is, all right. So in this case, we're putting in, in place of the x values right here, the x coefficients here, we're putting in um, four and five. So four and 15 and five and 10. All right, so this determinant is four times 10 minus five times 15, all right? Equals four times 10 minus five times 15 is minus 35. All right, and what is dy? Well, for dy, we stick in, um, for the 15 and then 10 and multiplying them the y, we stick in the four and the five. So for dy, we have four, oh, 10, 4, um, and 10, and 5. All right, and what is this determinant? Well, it's 10 times 5 minus 10 times 4. All right, that's 50 minus 40 is 10. All right? In case I'm just really having a bad day. So now we know x is dx, which is minus 35, divided by d, which is minus 50, all right? So x is minus 35 divided by minus 50 is 0.7. And y is 10 divided by minus 50 is minus 0.2 equals 10 divided by minus 50 is minus 0.2. And that gives us x and y for the first set of equations. Okay, now on to the second set. We do exactly the same thing, right? Exactly the same thing. So we have D equals uh, matrix 10 minus 20 uh, and then 10 and 40 equals 10 times 40 minus 10 times minus 20, right? Uh, so that's 400 plus 200 is 600. All right, equals 10 times 10 times 40 plus 10 times plus 10 times 20, 600. Okay, so for um, d sub x, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna copy this, right? For d sub x, what are we doing? We're substituting in the 10 and the 10 for 
the values um, in the X column, right? Well, they're 10 and 10, right? So this is also going to be 600. And then for D sub Y, Y, right? For D sub Y, we're substituting 10 and 10 in for the minus 20 and the 40. So that's 10, and that's 10, right? So what is this? This is 10 times 10 minus 10 times 10 is 0, right? So this is a pretty easy problem. x equals 600 over 600 is 1, and y equals 0 over 600 is 0. x is 1, y is 0. And that's it for problem five.